Yo, hope everybody is going well. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Lawn Tips live stream. <laughs> um, yeah, tonight we're just going to do the members live stream, members chat. Have a chat about stuff, have a chat about stuff that's coming up on the channel in the future. Um, heaps of exciting stuff coming up actually, so I'm keen to have a little quick chat about it tonight. Won't reveal too much. Um, but yeah, hope everyone is well. Who is in here at the moment? Say good day if you're in here. So if you guys are tuning in on YouTube and you can't comment, it's just because we have, we're doing a members live stream tonight, but we wanted to let everybody else see it as well, but just members can comment on this. Um, so I've got a members section on the channel, um, which you can tune in and watch, um, and you get extra content. And I'll talk about what's included in the member stuff in a minute, but um, a couple of extra things that we're starting to add to it as well. Yo, Glenn, what's going on, man? Yo, Wipey, what up? Um, who else is in? What is going on? So we'll start doing, ask any questions you like, guys, if you're in here. Um, obviously, we'll probably have to wait another 15 minutes because I said we're doing the stream at 7, and it's, oh, it's nearly 10 to. Um, let's just see. So for members, at the moment, we've actually got a private group. So if you're a member on YouTube here, we have started a private group on Facebook as well. Um, focus, bro. Do it. Focus. There you go. It's got a little private group on Facebook. It's just under lawn tips. Um, yo, Matt Berto. What's going on, man? Harry O'Brien. What's going on, mate? Good to have you here. What is going on here? What's it like in... Oh, are you in lockdown at the moment, man? You probably are. Who in here is in lockdown at the moment? I hope you guys are going well. I saw that it's still got like another seven days or something to go with lockdown, which is a huge bummer. Not fun at all. Man, you guys have had so many lockdowns. <laughs> yeah, lockdown, I thought so. Must be a few guys from Victoria in here. Anybody else? Anyway, well, if you've got any questions, Harry or Matt or Glenn or Emma, <laughs> um, let me know. <laughs> 50 max to a golf course. Oh, so you can still play golf. That's good they didn't close them down completely. That's good for the, for the golf courses to keep running. Regional Victoria out of hard lockdown tonight. Right. Yeah. Dang, man. That sucks. It's really not fun. Go the Vicks. <laughs> Anybody else in here? Any other members in here? If you guys want to become a member as well, um, if you go into the description of this video, like click on the description, there should actually be a link there to members live streams and you guys can, um, can join in on this as well. Now, you do get a little bit of a couple of extra things. So we have got the Facebook group now, which we're going to be have like a little forum sort of a thing. So I'll be in there answering all you guys' questions whenever I see them pop up, if you're part of the, the group. So like a little tight-knit group with the members in there. Um, what else are we doing? We have got a few discount codes as well for the members on my website and for merch and stuff like that as well. Yo, yo. Kyla. Is that how you pronounce it? Man. I was just giving up, can't pronounce the names. It's from South East Queensland. What is going on? It's Kyla, yeah, it's definitely Kyla. Kyla McDonald. <laughs> Sorry. Um, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, guys, feel free to start asking away. I know I said we're doing a live stream at seven, but ask away. Oh, I pronounced it right. Yes. Love it. I love it when you get like a really, like, don't love it. I don't like it when you get a really simple, like, name and then you pronounce it incorrectly. Feel like a silly sausage. Mmm. Mm. Oh, well, we're waiting for people. I thought I'd quickly show you guys. So I've been working on an ebook um, over the last two weeks, and I thought it might take me a month, maybe a little bit longer to complete. I reckon it's going to take me two two months though, because there's going to be a lot of content in there. So we we'll did a little poll on Instagram. Um. And I want to see what, what sort of ebook people would like, and the majority of the vote was beginner lawn care, so or lawn care for beginners. So I've made a start on the book, as you can see. 
I've just got to save to my iPad at the moment. Um, and I've started just designing it, getting some pics in there. Um, got a bit of info. We're starting with identifying grass types and stuff. You guys can see that there. Um, and then obviously we've started off with some kike. Kaikuyu. Yeah, sort of just ticking away at that. There's just so much info. And making sure I write the correct things in there as well. And th thanks heaps to the guys too that sent me in some pictures of their grass. Um, you guys have got a special mention in the book. Um, and obviously your pictures will be in there as well. So we've got some, I can't remember who sent me those. But I'll put the names next to those in the next couple of days. Um, I haven't started doing the info yet on the old green cooch. But yeah, it's going to be good. I'm actually really keen to get this book out. Been meaning to do an ebook for a very long time, so it'll be nice to get one out. Um, and then I'll start building that as well and putting some more ebooks out um, over time. I'll probably do like an advanced book. Um, obviously, a weed identification one eventually. That's just going to take me ages to do that. Um, the weed ident one, because I'll have to get pictures of lots of different weed. Can't even say. Lots of different types of weeds. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. Matt Berto, boss wanted me to ask, what can he do to minimise his tall fescue from yellowing during winter? Um, it's a bit hard. If you're getting lots of frosts, I mean, you can start applying some liquid iron and liquid kelp. So like the special mix, put the special mix down. Um, that's a great way to keep colour into it. Um, make sure you still water it as well. Um, you find the frost will actually dry out your cool season grass quite a bit. Um, I found here actually, I haven't my watered my lawn for quite a while since before we put a house on the market, which was oh, nearly a month ago now. And it's definitely needed some water because we've had no rain until today when we got 40 mil <laughs> here. Um, but yeah, make sure you keep the water up to it as well because, mate, it can dry out and mine has dried out. And you guys see in this week's video actually, um, which I'm editing at the moment. Um, so keep an eye out for that on the weekend. Karthik, g'day Ben, is that one of your famous coffees you're drinking? No, it's not one of my famous coffees with my really bad coffee art, which has not improved today. Some of you guys might have seen on Instagram, I put up some coffee art. I think it's actually getting worse rather than better. It's just a cup of tea. Need a scotch finger. Um, who else is in? Who else we got here from members? What are the members we've got tuning in? Welcome, welcome. Everybody. Welcome to everybody else too that's not commenting. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. If you're not, why are you watching? No. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you guys get some info out of this. Once we start getting some more members in in the next five minutes, we should start to get a little more questions flowing and things rolling along. Um, and we might do one little beanie giveaway as well towards the end of the vid. Tiff Tough Coast, what is going on, man? Hope you're well. I'm pretty sure, Ben, is that your account, Tiff Tough Coast? I'm pretty sure it is, man. What's happening? Hope you're having a good night. Had a good day. Did anybody else get some rain? At the moment, we got heaps here today, like I said. Got my beanie, Matt Birdo. No worries, mate. Glad you got that beanie. Yep, I thought it was you, Ben. Nice. See, I'll give one of the beanies away. So I've got, um, that's, that's the normal logo beanie just there. I'll give away one of the, um, limited edition ones for you guys, um, tonight. Raining here in Noosa. Ooh, Noosa's a nice spot, man. Very nice spot. Hmm. Wouldn't mind visiting there one time. Um, blah. I'll get the beanie out. Uh, let's have a squeeze. Oh, that's not even one of them. Anyway, you get the point. Chris East, hey Ben, on the phone shopping. What are you, what are you shopping for? <laughs> you at Woolies? Woolworths? Welcome, by the way, Chris. Oh, you're shopping at the moment and you're tuning into the live stream. A little in Adelaide. Nice. Nice. Ooh. 
Wait. Let's have a look. Any more members in? Make sure you comment if you are. Love to see who's in here. Love to see who's in here. Oh, also, if anyone um, wants any merch and they don't win one tonight, I have got a sale going at the moment. I've got four polo shirts left. Um, four polo shirts left and we'll be... Yeah, that'll be the end of the polo shirts. I'm not going to do it any more runs of polo shirts unless there's high demand for them. I didn't... They did. They sold pretty well at the start, but then they sort of peed out. I guess polo shirts are a pretty specific style that some people like, some people don't, which is fair enough. So there's four left. Once those are gone, they're gone. So they're 50% off at the moment. Um, and I've still got t-shirts in there, which I've got a sale on for them at the moment. Hats, bucket hats, and beanies as well. Um... Saw that message, Kev. Um, hey, Ben, on the no, no, a little Adelaide. Stephen, what is going on, man? Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Receive the hoodie and Benny. Awesome, Chris. Thanks for grabbing them as well. Hopefully, you like the hoodie. Um, I need to actually order some more hoodies. I'm, I don't think I've got any hoodies left, so I do need to get some more hoodies. I don't know if that's something that people would like to see. But yeah, Gregory, thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for becoming a member. Appreciate it. Ledge. Say it, Stephen, say the last name. Jovanovsky. Jovanovsky? Jovanovsky? Is that right? Did I say it right? <laughs> Crispy chicken wings, what is up, man? Thanks for popping in. I reckon I should get a free hoodie. Sucked in, there's none left. <laughs> you scab. <laughs> right, what did we get? I got it correct. Yes! I knew it would. Respect me. Mm. Oh dear. Yep. Feel free to ask some lawn questions, guys, if you like. Um, that's what I'm here for. I know there's probably not many lawn questions this time of year because it is the end of the season. Um, but believe it or not, it's probably not a bad time to start thinking about getting prepped for next season, believe it or not, getting your plan together for next year and getting prepped for next season because it's going to creep up super quick. Like... Towards the middle of August when is when things start ramping up, especially if you're in a warmer climate like Queen, up in Queensland or something like that. Um, Gregory Conran, what's up, man? Just joined. Is there a schedule for these chats that are, that can go in a Google Calendar? Um, not quite. I sort of just do these when I um, can slot them in. I've been trying to do them a bit more lately, so I've done them. I've probably done one for the last every three weeks for the last little bit. Or at least other live streams as well. Um, but no, not a set schedule. The plan is to eventually get a set schedule. A bit hard at the moment just because we're selling this house. Going into new house if you guys didn't know. Um, which I'll talk about in a minute as well. Karthik, why did you retract a message? What did you say? Did you swear? Um, but yeah, I, I, I want to get a schedule in for it so you guys know exactly what nights they'll be on. Um... Thanks for being the third wheel at my anniversary dinner. <laughs> but you got no questions, mate. No worries. I'll third wheel any time. Actually, no. Third wheeling wouldn't be fun. Yo, Mark, what's going on, man? Oh, fat fingers. Right. You wrote something and then you deleted it. I see. I see what you're saying. Again, if you guys want to become a member on the channel... Um, you can click in the description below on this live stream um, at the bottom of the video, a little arrow. I don't know, it's hard to explain where it is. Um, and then become a member through there. I think it's a little bit hard to do on your mobile. Has anyone had luck doing it on the mobile? Or do you have to do it on desktop? Matt Birdo, hit the bell on the page so you get notifications. Yeah, I guess that is one way to do it, but sometimes we don't always see them on our phones. Mark Wilkinson, just finished dinner. Nice. How's the bub going, man? How old is your little girl now, anyway? She wouldn't be that old. We've got a bub due soon, actually. We are due in... 30th of August? Correct me if I'm wrong, Emma. 30th, 31st? Is it 31st in August? Man, I can't remember. It's not good. can never remember. I know there's that trick that you're supposed to have, like that little song, but nah. I never know. Hope everyone has a ripper night. Good luck and congrats to the winners. Are you going crispy chicken wings? Already. 
bun's going well. Oh, bub, I'm guessing you're saying. 12 weeks today. Is it, how do you pronounce it? Is it Ada? Or Ada? Ada? Ada Ruby? Ada? 31st of August. Come on, man, I was one day off. It's close enough. I got the three part right. Yeah. Thanks, Aiden. Appreciate it. Aiden, I'm going well too, man. I'm going very well. How you going, mate? Couldn't have you any bubs. Yes. Hey. Oh, I pronounced it right. Cool. Mm. Yeah, Emma likes that name. Emma likes any names that start with A. <laughs> Give us some baby name suggestions, guys. You got any? <laughs> that start with A. <laughs> um, all right. How, bel how, sorry, how long before and after special sauce <laughs> can you mow? So if you put down the special sauce, um, you can mow, you can mow it once the leaf dries, to be honest. I'd wait till the next day, but you can mow four hours afterwards if you please. Or if you mow, you can apply straight after you mow as well, if you like. Yo, JB, what's going on? Not that late, man. I said seven o'clock, so you're three minutes late. Only three minutes, man. Aiden. <laughs> Aiden, that's a great name. <laughs> Arsenal, Allison, Anfield are great names. Emma, that's all soccer stuff if you're not aware. <laughs> Akaku, you. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a great name. Let's call cool, our kid perennial ryegrass, eh? Ryegrass. Rye. Rye. What a name that would be. Glenn Beasley, thanks man for the congrats. Yeah, Emma loves that name a bit. A I can't even pronounce that. I can't, I can't you. <laughs> oh dear, great suggestions. Anybody else tuned in? Part of the members that um, hasn't said a g'day. Did I say g'day back to you, Jay Simmons? If I didn't, sorry. I'm going well. Hope you're going well as well. Kelly Williams, yo yo, what's going on? Good to see you, man. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're going well. Get your dinner, SR4650. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what we're going to call that kid, SR4650. That is a great. Now, nah, it has to be SR4660 now. That's the upgraded version, mate. You've got to go the new model, not the old one. Hugh Davis, what's going on? Thanks for popping in. Chase Shimmons, I'm well man, she is. That's good to hear, mate. Good to hear. How you been? Hope all is well. Jason, hope you're well too, man. Hope he'll, I mean, all is very well here. Very, very well. Could be better. Well, that's not good, Kelly. Hope your night improves or your whatever's going on. Hope it improves. Um, do you have to water in special sauce or leave it on the leaf? I'm going to call it special sauce from now on. That's great. You can be my marketing manager. <laughs> um, you have to water in. Oh, you don't. Um, I recommend you do water it in because half the products in there need to get down to the soil. So like the kelp and the humic acid um, need to get down to the soil. So generally what I do is I leave it on the leaf for about three to four hours and then I tend to water it in, or up to 12 hours. I tend to leave it on the leaf because then you get a bit more kick out of your iron or the activate mate if you use that instead. Um, and then you want to water in the soil amendments after that. Amy, Amy Wills, thank you for becoming a member. Appreciate it. Welcome. Ask away with some questions, if you please. Give us a baby name suggestion. <laughs> Alex Sims got a ring to it. Alex Sims. But I agree with Aiden Green. Of course you do, Aiden. Bruh. Plus one for Aiden. How many Aidens are in here? Flap. <laughs> is there three Aidens in here? How? Aidens are not a very common name, is it? Mm. Is there any more Aidens in here? <laughs> Make it four. Um, is it a boy or girl? We don't know, actually. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Um, so... You gotta give us both. I'll give us a name that works for both. Yeah, so we found out with all our kids if it was a boy or a girl. So we've got two boys, six year old, four year old. <laughs> oh, better be getting this right. And a two year old girl. Um, so 
This is the only time we haven't found it actually, so yeah, we'll see what happens. It'll be kind of cool to have a surprise. Um, no, it's not. Oh, well, it's kind of funny. Yeah, it is funny. Alicia. Alicia Keys. <laughs> Gender reveal video. <laughs> no. <laughs> not an A name. Josh, that's my brother's name. That doesn't work. Imagine that. Lexi Sims. When I was five, six years old, I had a girlfriend called Lexi. <laughs> Believe it or not. Six, who has a girlfriend when they're six, man? That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Busy household, yeah, four kids. It's going to be crazy. Um, not actually the reason we're moving house, but it's definitely going to be helpful. <laughs> um, man, gender reveal video. The gender reveal video will be on the, will be a birth vlog. Who wants to see a birth vlog? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> would never watch one of those things and I'm never going to. <laughs> um, kid number four, better get a bigger car. Uh, yeah. Mini bus, hey, hey, stop. We're not getting a mini bus. That's something I do not want to get. Mini bus. <laughs> Aiden Green, where are you planning to move to? So we're staying in Orange Man. Um, we are staying in a town. It's, the house is probably only like a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in that region somewhere, <laughs> drive from here. Um, out of town, so we're buying a property. So we've got some acreage, um, which is exciting. So a lot of projects gonna be coming up with the property, really excited about it. So the house is all like set now. We've put the deposit down. Things are going forward, um, so yeah, things are getting pretty serious. Oh, I better just go flat. Oh, um, yeah. So really, really excited, and hey, got so many ideas for the channel. Um, Going to be starting along from scratch again, building a golf green, as you guys can imagine. A bent grass golf green is the plan. That's going to be there all year round. Installing irrigation, hopefully sinking another bore. Oh, yeah which it'd be nice to get some sponsors for this stuff because it's going to be expensive. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out as, on the way, obviously. Um, so there's going to be lots of video series for years and years because we've got some acreage, so we've got some property to work with, which will be nice. So I'll let you guys know, obviously, how much property we've got once we get there. I'll do sort of a yard reveal. How exciting. <laughs> Not a house reveal, a yard reveal. Um, and yeah, we'll... We'll basically talk about it from there. Um, what are we missing? 31st of August, PGR going down the 30th then. <laughs> you make me sick. <laughs> oh dear. Joel, what's going on man? Thanks for becoming a member. I appreciate it. Really, really do appreciate it. Um... Have you tried the the Weebang yet? What's the Weebang? What what is that? Have you got a link? Rear roller rotary cheaper than the Toro. Never heard of it. Flick us a link if it works. Aiden, will there be a fish pond there? Got to get a bigger one than the Aussie lawn. <laughs> I don't no. I don't know. I don't think there's going to be a fish pond. Amy. Hey, really love the channel. Thanks, really appreciate that. I really do. Um, any advice for someone with a super shaded yard? Ooh. How shaded is it? All I can manage to grow is moss. Oh man, that's hard. In Toowoomba, I was in Toowoomba. Dead set like two weeks ago for a wedding, believe it or not. Um, love Toowoomba. Actually, sort of a similar climb to orange, believe it or not. Um, how much shade have you got, Amy? Um, if you're getting three to four hours sun, um, you can get away with growing grass. I'd highly recommend you get a grass type that is suited for shade though. So in your situation, I'd be recommending something like buffalo. Um, and the reason for that is because it's got a thicker bladed leaf on it. Um, so it's actually to catch some more sunlight and it's just more tolerant of the shade as well on top of that. Um, yeah. Home golf course. But yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Let me know that how many hours of sun you get per day. Um, if you like, send, flick some, because now that you're part of the 
members, you can actually flick some photos through on the members Facebook page. Just search lawn tips. Um, and if you go to the community tab on YouTube here, I've got a little password to get into the Facebook page, the um, lawn tips community Facebook page. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, yeah, and flick some photos through and I'll have a look at it for you if you like. Um, Aiden Home Golf Course, uh, well, not a full golf course, but you'll find out. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Um, John, what's up, John? Thanks for tuning in. I don't think you've commented yet today. Thanks for popping in. Hi, Bang, long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Love your lawn tips. <laughs> oh, Kelly. Because of lockdown, yeah, it would suck. Lockdown would not be great. We never really had a very big lockdown here in Orange, so I can't imagine what it would be like. Um, yeah. Five hours tops, that's awesome. So you've got enough sun per day to be getting some decent um, some decent lawn there, at least something like buffalo would be the go. Um, my German Shepherd would love some grass. Ooh. That's also going to be an ongoing battle, as you can probably imagine, with a dog there as well, and shade. So it's always going to be a little bit harder for you to grow grass. Um, but yeah, it's definitely possible. Um, especially German Shepherd. I wonder if it is it an old German Shepherd, not too much energy. Anyway, you'll be able to do it, it'll just be a little bit harder because you got a dog as well. Joel, what's going on, man? Um, oh, you're asking a question? Oh, you just tuned in on the live stream, awesome. Sorry, I'm getting lost. Greg's on the new property, thanks, mate, really appreciate it. I seeded my lawn with rye seed I bought from you around two weeks ago, and I was worried it was really late, but it's moving along well. Awesome, man. Love that. Do you want to, since you're now part of the members too, do you want to flick through a photo on Facebook? I'd love to see it. I'm sure other people would love to see it as well. She's an absolute potato. <laughs> so I might be able to make it work. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. No, no worries at all. Not a worry. But yeah, flick some photos too if you like, just so we can have a squeeze in it. Um, what type of grass are you going to have at the new house? So the plan is... Lots of different types of grass. Um, but the majority of it's probably going to be warm season stuff. Um, this is just, by the way, this isn't like set decisions. It's just like what I'm thinking in my brain. Um, and the reason for that being because it's going to be a bigger area. Obviously going to need something that's a bit more drought tolerant. A bit better with water. Because um, we're running off rainwater out there, we will be. Um, so yeah. Sorry, I just got distracted by a comment. Um, so yeah, we'll have to obviously sink a bore in the future, but yeah, we'll obviously try to get grass types in there that are going to be a lot better with water. Um, what's the code, Kelly? So Kelly, um, I'm not going to say the code here because then other people will be able to log into the Facebook page. Which, is, you know, it's just we're just trying to make something exclusive for members because you guys are supporting me, so I want to give you guys something back. Um... But I don't know, a lot of other people still support me as well on the channel, I do. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, so, yeah, Kelly, sorry. If you go on the community tab on... I'll show you. I'll show you, but I won't show you the code. So if you go into YouTube app... YouTubes! Um, we go to my channel, and then you hit up here. If you go on your YouTube... See, there's a community tab up the top. I won't click it, because you'll see the passcode. But click on that community tab, and you should see the passcode there. Um, that's if you remember. Scientific test patches, 100%. You know it. Um, yeah, Gregory, make sure you do that same thing. Go to the community tab, and you'll get the code. Um, JB, not much happening in my yard. Winter Green Cooch is going dormant. Really looking forward to the renovation in a couple of months, yeah. It's a bit hard this time of year, isn't it, when you've got like warm season grass and you're in Victoria, or like in a colder climate like I am, when it just starts to slow down and do nothing. You guys in Queensland are lucky. Uh, Alright, Kelly, you can just go to lawn, go to the Facebook page, just search Lawn Tips, and then go into Groups when you're on Facebook, and I'll just add you in, because I know your name. You'll be fine. And same with, if you can't find the password, Gregory as well, do the same thing. Um, I had purchased your maintenance plan a few months ago and it's looking so healthy. Awesome, man. Thanks for the feedback on that as well. Glad the maintenance plan's working for you. Um, I've got some more maintenance plans coming out soon actually as well. Um, 
working on those and working on the ebook so just trying to get it all rolling along just a little bit behind because of this house sale and then just all you know the fun stuff with the solicitors and calling around and cleaning the house to get it ready which is why <laughs> I did that video a while back with painting off the um the iron stains off the bricks and everything because selling the house Cameron finally bought a Scott Bonner off oh, <laughs> much to the delight of the missus <laughs> awesome man so good what'd you get what did you get flick us through a photo on the Facebook page if you like love to see it did I miss a comment at all no we're good Cool. We'll keep asking questions. We'll keep running for another 15 or 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll wrap it up. Um, but I hope, yeah, hope everyone's enjoying their nights. Um, hope you're not missing Home and Away. Kev was telling me Home and Away is on tonight, so hopefully you're not missing it, Kev. Or you're multitasking. <laughs> is a fert like Noculate Complete worth the extra cost over something a lot cheaper? So such as two spec if you're already applying the extra stuff that Noculate has in it. If you're already applying the extra stuff that Noculate does have in it, um, let me rephrase that. So, Noculate Complete, is it worth the extra money? 100% it is because it's got that humic acid, it's got the winning agent, and it's also got the soil mi microbes, which is a big selling point, I guess, if you want to say it like that, for that Noculate. So, it's got microbes in it. I'd have to, I've got to remember exactly the the data on it, but if we go on my website, wantips.net, and if you actually look at the technology with the, the soil microbes, like it's pretty impressive stuff. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth it, and even if you are applying these other things, man, like just having those microbes in your fertilizer, like it increases the, oh, I must say longevity, that's not a word, the longevity. <laughs> Is that even, is it? <laughs> of the fertilizer actually it makes it last a bit longer and as you guys know as well humic acid does help with that as well um but sorry i'm just trying to find it here while i'm thinking um but yeah inoculate we used to use it on the golf greens years ago for renos we used to use inoculate um xn and i'll tell you what i mean like just the difference with that compared to other ferts is just just ridiculous where's the text sheet well actually i don't have the text sheet we go. Let me show you. Uh, so, if you wanted that info on it, oh, we're not going to read it. But there's heaps of different strains of um, microbes in Noculate. Um, so, if I click onto the left here, if we have a look here, um, you can see all these different strains of. What am I saying? different strains of microbes, which, I mean, I need to memorize a lot of this stuff because it's just insane. Um, but yeah, like, you basically got to, to try to understand how well this stuff works. Like, I've never seen my lawn respond so well from a granny off her. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about it because I could talk about that stuff for a while. Um, whoa, there's a dog in my backyard. There's a dog in our yard, Emma. <laughs> It's just at the window. Where did you come from? Oi! <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> oh dear. Um, has the live stream stopped working? Are you guys getting it? Oh, it's frozen. Is it frozen? Uh oh. Can you guys hear me still? I don't understand why that stopped. The dog made it stop. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Oh, why is it frozen? You can hear me, we're up. Something's going wrong with my um my software for some reason. Hold up, let me see if I can get it to work a different way. I'll add another camera to this thing. Sorry guys, let's just add another camera. Um, video capture. Just while I'm sorting this, sorry. That dog scared me, man. <laughs> that scared me so bad. Right, is that working? Can you guys see me again? Do you need to change your pants? Yeah, that's why the screen stopped working. <laughs> Next episode, how to repair dogs' pee spots. Yeah, pretty much. Wow, that scared me.
It was a um, golden retriever. Did you see the dog in? Or let it go out? That was weird. Anyway, sorry I got distracted there. Scared the crap out of me. Um, can you run your special mix through the Easy Flow? Um, you can. I would just be careful leaving those products in the Easy Flow for a long time, only because they can start to get sick and it wouldn't actually come out properly. So you just got to be really, really careful with that. Um, what are we talking about? Inoculate. Now we talked enough about that product. But yeah, I tell you what, you don't have to get inoculate. You definitely don't have to get inoculate. Like um, most other granular ferts are going to be fine. Um, it's just something I've, I used to use in the golf course for a long time um, when I was there and I just brought it into the home here because I just love the product so much, but you definitely don't need it. Um, Alright, what else we got? <laughs> I mean, that distracted me so much. Um, I hope we didn't dig a hole. Um, here we go, Aiden, what are you saying? Aiden saying, Ben, I have a proposition. Tomorrow I have my school athletics carnival. If I win age champion, can you give me a free beanie? <laughs> if you don't, I donate you $20 next stream. No, you're not donating me 20 bucks, man. Um, I accept it, mate. If you, you, might, you know you're going to win by the sound of it. If you're putting up 20 bucks on the line and you're still at school. <laughs> Risky. Nah, we'll, we'll go for it, mate. Let's do it. I don't like betting, but let's do it, mate. But you have to give me evidence that you won. I don't know how. Maybe get one of your mates to film it and then put it on the Facebook page. I'd love to see that. <laughs> but mate, if you win, uh, yep, you get it. I have to know that it's you winning too, not just some random person winning because I actually don't know what you look like. Let's do it. Emma, I just said, oi, out the back door. Oh, don't forget the beanie giveaway. Thanks. I won't forget. All right, so I'll give a beanie away. So let's do a question. And whoever gets it right, gets the beanie. Um, question, 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 question. Oh, I um, didn't think about this beforehand. Um, Hmm. Oh, I had one. I lost it. Sorry if this is not exciting content, me trying to think of a question. Um, which reminds me, I've got a 100k giveaway coming up soon as well for those guys that are tuned in here, which is not just for members, it's going to be for everyone. Um, Lawn Solutions has given us a pack. Guys that... Um, Uh, MacArthur Mowers has given, one, given us a pack as well. Plant Doctor has given us a pack. I'm going to give some merch away. Um, yeah, there's quite a few packs coming through. Um, but anyway, giveaway. Um, no, I don't have anything. Ooh, I could ask a really hard one, but I don't think anyone would know that answer. Okay, let's just do this. How many years was I a greenkeeper for? Get my mum to film it. <laughs> uh, no one's got it yet. There we go. Aiden Mackie, you got it. What a man. What a man. Aiden, you're not the one that said you're going to go for a run, is it? If it is, oh, you're joking me. <laughs> well, don't need to film that video anymore. <laughs> so, Aiden, flick me through an email with your details and I'll send you that beanie. You double or nothing. You want to double or nothing, eighty, Aiden. If you, I'll send you a free shirt as well if you win this race. <laughs> oh dear. If you win a race, I mean, just go find someone to race down the street. If you like, give them a race, and um, if you win it, mate, you got it. <laughs> you got a free beanie as well. <laughs> yeah, I still want to see you film this video, man and put it on Facebook, that'll be hilarious. You have to say thanks for your mum to film it. <laughs> Wait, so tell me this, if you're betting that you're gonna win a race, I'm guessing you're pretty good at running. How fast do you run 100 meters? Is a mini pro okay to put down now in Adelaide? Um, 
Honestly, I probably hold off on granular fertilizer at the moment and just stick with your liquids if you can. Um, just because you're just going to be wasting nitrogen if you're chucking it down this time of year, like granular nitrogen. Just won't break down as well because it's not quite hot enough temps. Yeah, I'm 13 and I run 100 meters in 12.4 seconds. Woo, my, you're joking. You're running that fast. Flip. Well, I think you're going to win, mate. So you've got yourself a free shirt. But you still need to send in the video. Here we go. This is getting, we're talking about running now. How fast do you run 1500 meters? Do you do 1500 meters? Um, Alright, let's see if we've got any more questions. Sorry. What winter grass killer can you use on tall fescue? Oh. Um, but actually, there is some products that are registered now um, that you can use on tall fescue, I think. Nominees one. Um, but super expensive. But don't quote me on that. I can't quite remember if nominee works. Um, which I think you have to get from New Turf. Um, and there's another one as well. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure. But you can't use something like Power Check or Winnie Grass Killer from Bunnings. The best thing to do, to be honest, mate, would be get yourself in a pre-emergent program. So get down some pre-emergent in like at the end of March or middle of March. Um, something like Barricade. And then you're basically going to break the cycle of that Winnie Grass Fall as much as you can. Um, and then also make sure you apply it in spring as well. That's what I'd do about it. Mark Wilkinson, I ran it in about 34 seconds and I'm 34 seconds for 100 metres. <laughs> nice. <laughs> when did pre-emergent in Queensland like the last couple of weeks? Gregory, so you mean, so if you're in Queensland, I would have got your pre-emergent down back in March or April if you could have. If you're talking about for spring though, get it out at the end of August if you can. Um, so that's what I mean, like, getting down your pre-emergence and stuff is sort of creeping up pretty quick. Like, it's only really a month and a half away until we start getting pre-emergence down. So, it's funny, Australian winters are not really that long. Um, yeah, you're a short distance runner. I thought so, Aiden. Oh, I thought so, man. Tiff Tuff Coast. What, what's the sweet spot height for cutting my printer ryegrass at? I'm at 21mm now. Um, can I spray it out in spring with bow and arrow? So if you're at 21 mil, the sweet spot normally, I always have been a fan of 15 mil with perennial ryegrass. Um, if you're using one of the SR varieties, because they've got a, quite a bit of a finer leaf, um, 15 to 20 mil, so you're pretty much in the sweet spot, to be honest. Um, I actually just took the ryegrass down to 12 mil this week. Yeah, that's what this week's video is on. Just because I want to do it one more time before we moved out. Um, what were you saying? Um, can you spray it out with bow and arrow? No. So bow and arrow is not going to work to get rid of ryegrass. You're going to have to get something like Tribute Man um, to knock it out. Um, if you've got it in Cooch, which I think you said you did. I'm pretty sure all tiffed off, yeah. So you have to spray <clears throat> something like Tribute. Because um, you can't use Monument in the home garden. Um, Aiden Mackie, I've been injured all of last year on both legs, but I should still have it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Can you spray a barricade with a Hortex sprayer? I recommend you don't, only because those things aren't very um, great at putting product out evenly. Um, and with barricades, you need to be pretty precise with that stuff because it is a lower rate. Um, and yeah, you just want to put it down properly and make sure you don't miss any spots. It's just one of those products you've got to be really, really... Um, um, what's the word? you got to spray it evenly. Um, Mark Wilkinson, do you only put pre-emergent down once for spring and once for summer? I've been doing it every three months. Yeah, you can do it every three months. It depends on what pre-emergent you got. So if you had something like embargo, you can put it down every three months. Um, if that's how long the pre-emergent works, or Oxifert, Oxipro, something like that, which is Oxidiazon, is the active in it. Um, I think someone asked before what's with the shortage with embargo. So it's got something to do with import costs from the states because that's where the product comes from and it's just become way too expensive because of COVID or something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure exactly what it was, but yeah, something along those lines. Um, Jack, thanks man for chucking us some monies. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support. You guys are legends. Seriously. Appreciate you guys a lot. Um, is there any members discount for the leveling rake? Um, not currently, but flick me an email, Michael. 
Um, where's that up to? Right, we'll, we'll wrap it up in probably two or three minutes. Um, I'll just do the rest of these questions. I'm starting to grow some other grass types on my lawn. I have buffalo, but I'm starting to get cooch and kaikuyu. Oh, no, not fun. So if you've got cooch and kaikuyu in your buffalo, if it was me, I would probably... Um, if it was me, I'd paint it with Roundup. Buffalo's a hard one, man, because there's not many selectives to get rid of those grass types in there. Um, yeah, paint where you got there with Roundup. Um, or pull, if you've got a, a plugger, you can pull out plugs of the grass you've got in that you don't want. Um, I'd do a deep plug, though, so you get down the root system. Um, what am I saying? And then... Get rid of those plugs, put some buffalo plugs back in those spots if you can. Or you could dig it out. Um, but yeah, if it was me, I'd be painting it with Roundup, which sounds frustrating as it's going to be a bit of a process, but that's sort of what you're going to have to do, unfortunately, Aiden. Aiden, you still go with the bets. Stop it. I'll donate you $10 if you guess my personal... No, I'm not guessing your personal best for high jump. <laughs> Get out of it. Someone else gets his personal best and then you can give them $10. Um, I meant once in spring and once in autumn. Yeah, 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 for your pre-emergent, yes. You can just do it. You can do it both of those times if you like. I mean, that's what I personally do, but I use barricades, so that lasts up to six months, so it sort of covers you. Um, also, thank you, Gregory, for that little donation as well, mate. Really do appreciate that. Um, what's your question? Do you know where to get a soil sample plug at Thingy um, for testing soil samples? So do you mean one of those really long ones that you get? Um, you can, like the Pro Plug like I've got. If you want to get one of the Pro Pluggers, you can get those from Real Solutions. You just go Real Solutions Australia on Google and it'll pop up and those pluggers are there. If you want to do an actual soil sample plugger though, um, I'm not actually really sure where you could get like a little probe like that. Um, but I mean, if you want to get a sample of soil, you can just dig a bit of a hole with your shovel, cut out a bit of turf, grab a bit of soil and put your turf back down. Um, also, thank you, James, for that donation as well. Really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah. So, Ben, we got a deal. Just be clear, if I win first place, <laughs> you don't trust me, do you? Then I'm going to send you a shirt. I'm going to send you a beanie, mate. It'll just be easy to send the shirt with it. Just to be clear, if I win first place, age champion, I get a beanie and a shirt, and if I don't, donate. You, you don't have to donate me $20, man. <laughs> you sound very confident. <laughs> Did you get me a... Gregory, you need to... Wait, I'll look up the Wee Bang. Let's do it. Is that how you pronounce it? It doesn't sound... It sounds a bit weird. The Wee Bang. Wee Bang. Who makes it? Wee Bang. Wait, what a name. Wee Bang. Why, wee, what? Wee Bang? That's an aerator. Trencher. I can't see the mower. Might have to send me a link. Um, and then I'd have to contact them and see if they want to send me a unit to demo for them, I guess. Um, yeah. That's what I did with Toro. Basically just asked if I could loan some of their equipment to try it on the channel and they got that one organised for me which was pretty cool. Um, I think Swarman had one of the pluggers for soil samples. Yes, yeah, Swarman does have them which you can buy on the All Mower Spares website. So yes, that's actually put on a, not a bad place to look on the All Mower Spares website. You could go on the David Golf website. I'm guessing they'd probably have soil samplers there. Um, that's the probably the place to look. If I win my zone athletics for 1500 metres, can I get a beanie please? <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else want to do a race and win a beanie? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I don't know, Aiden. I'm getting overwhelmed by these bets. Um, mate, if you win your 1500 metre ra race and you can prove it, you got a beanie for yourself. <laughs> Would it be worth getting a soil test kit from a Lawn Pride website? Yeah, man, 100%. I've seen some of their soil tests and they actually look pretty decent. Um, I also do soil tests as well, if any of you guys are interested, which I've never actually talked about. But yeah, I can get soil tests done for you guys as well. Um, 
Chris Ryan, thanks for the five bucks, man. You guys have been generous tonight. I really appreciate it, mate. Um, what is the best kind of grass to grow in Orange, New South Wales, and should I buy from Bunnings? So in Orange, it depends on what you want, man. Um, it depends on how much water you've got as well. So our climate's a bit of a different one because our cool, warm, sorry, warm season grasses go dormant in the winter time. Your lawn won't be active if you get something like kaiku, cooch. Um, you could, we don't really have much buffalo around here as always, yeah. But any of those grass types, they'll go brown in the winter time, which you probably noticed. Chris, in orange at the moment, everything's starting to go brown. If you want something, the reason why you would like opt into probably choosing a warm season grass around here um, is if you didn't have much water um, to water it, because we've had water restrictions in the past, etc. So if those grass types dry out, it's not a big issue and they will come back pretty easily. Now, if you. <sighs> Aiden, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> oh dear. Um, if you oh, got distracted by the bet, um, but yeah, if you want something that's green all year round, it's probably worth looking into something like a cool season grass. Just be aware that they require a lot more water than your warm season grass and need to be looked at nearly daily when it comes to summer here in Orange. Um, I have printer rye grass here, which is a cool season grass. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend that unless you've got lots of time to look after it and a bore or a bit of water, like rainwater tanks and stuff. Um, Kentucky bluegrass goes awesome here. Maybe Kentucky bluegrass mixed with some ryegrass. You'll have colour all year round. It'll self-repair. Um, and yeah, it's not a bad little mix. Or tall fescue as well. Um, if you're still undecided, man, flick through a question on the member's Facebook page. <laughs> what are you people doing? You guys are cheeky. Look at that. Thank you, the... BAU5. Thanks, man, for joining, joining and becoming a member. Webang.com.au. Then products. The third option is the rear roller mile. All right, man, I'll check it out. I'll check it out for you. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they look like. James Boswad. Boswad? Is he pronounced? Boswad? Thanks, mate. You did not have to do that. I appreciate it. Mate, you're cheeky. Um, hey Ben, we've just got ourselves a new tractor with a birdie cutter. I'd love to come out and shoot a video on it if you're up for it, mate. We could do that for sure, hundred percent. Where do you where do you live? It's going to be a long journey bringing your tractor and your birdie cutter, mate. We can do it for sure. Um, obviously, when we're in the new place, we'll we'll line it up, man, for sure. Um, what sort of um birdie cutter did you get? That's awesome, man. I'd love to do that and shoot a video on it. That'd be great. So I'm over in Texas. What kind of grass should I go for with the heat here? If you're in Texas, warm season grass for sure. If it was me, I'd go something like, you guys call it Bermuda. Um, we call it Cooch. But that's what I'd go for because you can get it nice and low if you want to or you can cut a little bit taller. You can go, yeah, I'd be going some Bermuda for sure. Grant, stop it. You guys are cheeky. Thanks, man. Heaps. Really appreciate it. Lawn is looking mint. Thanks to your tips. Awesome, man. Good to hear. I love it. When people get um get their lawns looking good after using my plans or watching the videos, like appreciate that feedback, guys. It's good. Whoa, we went ten minutes over. That's right. Um, Cameron Church, the Ryan Kentucky Blue mix. Would that go all right on the Central Coast? Um, I I'm gonna say no, just because the humidity you guys have got. Um, and. Yeah, I, I just steer clear of it. You can use it, you can obviously oversow in winter time with it, which is something I'd recommend doing, just going with the rye grass, but I wouldn't have it all year round in your climate. You guys need to calm down. <laughs> what is happening here? Aiden, stop it. <laughs> Let's go dona donation trains. This might help if I win the bet. Mate, yeah, how am I going to refund that money to you now? Because you're not putting a deposit on the bet. You're a cheeky bloke. Well, you paid for your beanie. <laughs> well, not quite, but you know. You're close. All right, we need to wrap this up. Quickly flick some questions through if you guys want to ask them and then we're going to wrap this bad boy up. I still don't get many baby name suggestions as well. And then we've got any last baby name suggestions before we wrap it up. Um, but yeah, just quickly flick through some questions. Oh, my cup of tea went cold too. Yo, 67 Wilco, welcome to the live streams as well, man. Appreciate you becoming a member. Make sure you guys go and join the Facebook group as well now that you're members. Um, just make sure you find the password in the community tab. Um, Keely. Is that a name? Keely. 
It's an interesting name. Cameron, thanks, man, for tuning in. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, my man. Chris Ryan, cheeky. They probably you guys have been cheeky ass. Thanks for the advice. I appreciate it. You can make a lot of money from streams. You should consider it. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah, well, you can, I guess, but it's not all about the money. It's just a good thing to give back to you guys as well. But I really do appreciate you guys chucking the money through. Like, I really, really do appreciate it. Um, how do I donate money? I'm not telling you, so you can't do it. <laughs> um, the BAU5. How do you pronounce it? Um, thank you for the tips you give. Have a big project of about seven acres. Whoa, that's crazy, man. That I have to renovate for my mother. That's intense. It's going to be so fun coring and leveling, mate. I'll tell you what. Definitely get a time lapse if you can and flick it through. Put it on the Facebook page too. I'd love to see that. All right, we'll wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. Really appreciate it. I had fun chatting with you guys tonight. Um, hopefully, you guys learned something. Um, or just had a good time. Yeah, okay, probably does mean boss. That's probably smart, JB. You're smart, man. Aiden, get out of here. <laughs> what are you doing? Burn, but Aiden and I both win our bets. Can you name your next child after us? $15 ain't going to cut it, man, <laughs> for a child's name for the rest of their lives. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, anyway, we've got to go. Thank you guys for chucking us all that money. I mean, seriously. Oi! Kelly Williams, stop it. Mate, I do... Thanks for watching the video. So hope you locked down... Eases up soon down soon as well, mate. Um, anyway, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you, guys. Yes, looking forward to the ebook as well. Looking forward to getting it done and releasing it to you guys. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Enjoy your nights. I'll talk to you guys soon. We'll do a live stream probably for the members again in two to three weeks. It depends on how things are going with the house. Form. We might be out of this house in, in three or four weeks. Who knows? Like... Things are getting close. It's getting scary. Aiden, I'm looking forward to seeing this video that your mum shoots. <laughs> Should be great, man. 5 a.m. in the morning. Wow, thanks for tuning in, mate. All right, guys. Enjoy your nights. We'll talk soon. See you later.